Uh, tell us a little bit about why you're here in your technology. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we are um, showcasing our uh, portable, recognized, energy efficient medical sterilizer. Uh, it's essentially a sterilizer at a role one slash two environment. It adds a new capability uh, to the DOD. Uh, as such, there isn't a sterilization ability at uh, at that level uh, in the DOD now. And how does the Navy intend to use this technology? So the, the sterilizer would be deployed at a role one or two environment um, where Currently, what they have to do uh, is get the sterilization toolkit from a brick and mortar facility to the Roll2 environment. This sterilization will enable that to happen right there, thereby sort of eliminating the logistics load uh, that, that they have to do now. Uh, so it will be on the site uh, sterilization. And how is the STP program helping you to transition this technology? So STP program has been greatly helpful in, uh, you know, for small businesses, any help is welcome, but particularly STP uh, is very crucial because they're helping us identify who are other services that may have interest in procuring a device like this, as well as broader transition sort of dual use beyond uh, DOD. And so Ian Roth, who is our uh, uh, business advisor, he's been fantastic uh, working with us, helping us promote uh, the product to services in view. Perfect. Well, what would you say would be the most beneficial part of the program as a whole for your company? Yeah, I think the, the most beneficial part of STP definitely is the one-on-one -on -one time we get with the advisor, uh, where you know we get to ask questions and there always are answers um, uh, help us navigate. Uh, by far, uh, I believe that kind of tops our list. Perfect. Um, and what are you hoping to achieve this week at this FSD event? As far as this particular event goes, this was much more of a showcase um, uh, ability to, uh, you know, have people walk through, demonstrate it to leaders within the U.S. Navy, but also third-party contractors, maybe some of the primes will stop by um, and have an opportunity then work with them potentially as we field the device uh, with the federal government because for small businesses, it can be rather tough to field it by themselves. So if we get some opportunities to collaborate with some of the primes, uh, that would be astounding. And then, you know, have it showcased to the broader leadership within the U.S. Navy. Absolutely. Last question. What advice would you have for other small businesses looking to participate in STV and maybe just get involved in SBIR as a whole? Well, I mean, we, we, for other small businesses who have interest, SBIR is definitely a fantastic program for you know, high risk, high payoff type of innovations. There isn't anything that matches the, the risk taking ability of an SBIR program. And while you're at it, it's a program like an STP is a must because as a small business, you could be very, very focused on solving the technical problem, but some of the transitional help you could get or help transitioning uh, you could get from STP, uh, that, that, that's quite essential for success.